All right, boys. So we are like literally, literally the last days in this mother bitch because we finally got a new place. So we're chilling over here with my son. Peeps. Brett. On the camera, try. There you go. <laughs> so yeah, we just enjoying this last moments over here because we're finally about to get out of this motherfucker. So what can I say, man? Things don't work out. Time to start fresh. So we just gonna buy some more and uh let my people be over there. So uh peace my peace. Good night people. Night. What was that? Talk to me. Tell me. Are you a subscriber of the Mac Doctor? Are you a subscriber? Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. Peace. What's going on guys? The Mac Doctor here, second to none custom like always a pleasure to have you guys back. And yeah. Today I'm here for what is gonna be one of my last videos in this facility. As you guys are knowing I have to uh look for a certain different place because I'll be having problems and that time has come. There's gonna be a lot of changes. So I'm surely when I gonna have a garage like I do now. But I'm not letting it knock me down. I'm gonna take the challenge just like some of y'all in the same boat, they don't have a garage. And um work at home. I need encouragement, so I'm in the same predicament, you know what I'm saying? So I'll be doing different things. I'm gonna do many collabs with like many friends, family members at different occasions because some of my cars are gonna be like spread it here and there. I'm gonna have different locations with all my vehicles. Some are gonna be in my crib, some are gonna be at my people's place. So I'm gonna be at a new garage that I'm working that hopefully I could get. It's gonna be something small. And um, one thing we're gonna do in the next garage is that we're gonna keep everything pretty quiet. You know what I'm saying? When I used to work like 20 years ago, how it used to be. I was conservative, um, closed doors. I wouldn't let nobody work near me. You know what I'm saying? Not to call too much attention. So I think I'm gonna have to go back old school because shit water with the city town, so. Trying to let shit cool down, but still get motivated and pump. All right. With that being said, uh, this vlog is weird because I'm gonna show you guys what the actually garage look like, what it's gonna start looking like. So uh, I gotta take out everything, gotta get the cars ready, so I could get them out of here. Hopefully within the next two days. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty crazy, man. It'll be like, the black is gonna be all over the place. You know what I'm saying? A little bit here, here. You see a little bit there. Maybe a little bit transport on the car when we take the hatch. The civic truck. And etc. So, I just kinda gotta wing it. So, with that being said, let's get to today's video. I'll show you guys. Still don't feel anything. 
record a lot of that temp garage that I had, the walls, mm -hmm. all that shit, you know what I mean? Here is the track bill, which uh, I was supposed to record earlier when they were taking it, so I'm waiting on my tow truck guy. Uh, it should be that closer to it, so yeah. I'm gonna take it to the new crib, and hopefully we'll be good. Got something to say, bro? I just took it out on time. Yo sacando la que just came. Okay. Here we go, guys, as promised. Got the EG track, she's getting transported. Last piece to the puzzle tonight. All my cars are the new crib. To the last one. Homeboy he came through. Good business right there. If you guys see him, just stuck around, you know, the throughway or something. There you go. Give him a call. Good people. You're gonna be nice and taken care of. District 9. Looking like a lucky triumph. No, it was a dope moment, so I think it'll be cool to show, to show like a little flashback from then to where we're at now. And uh, when I got three and a half years, almost four years out of here, I'm happy. This is my idea why it's here. A lot of fun times that I had in this channel, specific in this garage. So I'm pumped that I did it, and this is going to be for years to come. So you can buy stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, I'm super pumped. Shout out to the movement. Keep gunning. Brothers in arm. Salute to all of you out there watching. Um, yeah, let's get to today's video. So let's get it. Alright, so. Gonna be a headache, boys. I'll show you guys what the door actually looks like actually right now. It's coming down the temple. It's just funny how people think that these shit make you. The garage do not make me. It really look like shit to me, you know. The fact that I don't got the toolboxes look plain. Once I get this car out of here, it's just going to be a plain canvas. It's not going to have the spirit or the vibes they used to have that I brought up in this garage. So I'm proud of that. But, yeah. Like I said, everything's empty. A lot of the stuff I got to sort through. Kind of throw in the parts truck when I get towed out of here. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna take this to the next location. Both of these. So, all this stuff will come down eventually. It's gonna get storage until I figure out what I'm gonna do with it. Maybe for the next time they get a garage or something. I don't know. Right now, I don't have any. But, um, yeah. I got a lot of little things that I gotta take out of here, but everything's gonna be out. At some point, um, I gotta repaint this. So that way they don't take this against me as proof that, you know, I used to have a body chop or whatever. So fuck them. I like graffiti. I like advertising my shit. So what? Uh, without a crying, then charge me for it. Guilt is charge. But we stay motivated. We stay pumped. We are who we are. So, yeah. I want to start taking things out of here because I just seen the hatch is really low so she's gonna go along with this to the next location like I said we're not gonna get into it right now until the end of the video so as y'all know I got this front end fiberglass on a couple months ago and we still got some work to do so that's what I'm talking about the front end is coming off, so in the towing process, it don't get damage on me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to take them out. I'll carry them in the car separate or something. So the front bumper. But as we take those out, I want to spray at least the front bumpers with all white uniform. Rather than having a primer. 
because the bumper was kind of close to done from the bodywork DIY beating that I did. So uh, I think it's perfect time to prime and see what it looked like in one piece. But I'll start taking out the bumper. We'll take out the uh, fenders and we'll take out the doors because the doors, they quick release. So I'm going to take them out so when we have to put out the car into the towing flatbed, it's easier. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get the car in and out quicker now where we're going to put it so it's not causing too much attention. And we could get on with what I have to do. At the end of the day, I still got to deal with like home things, you know, like far as moving and all that shit. So that's what we're doing, things that we'll be doing. But um, yeah, I'm pumped. So I'll put you on the uh, tripod. You know, and um, we just peep out a little bit. I will start taking some of the things out and strip her out so that I could get her ready to uh, translate, transport this to the next location. All right, so let's get it.
All right, so basically everything is off. Doors are off. Because I don't want the one we put on the fiberglass. Sorry, from the left hand window. It cracks even more. So that's why I'm glad that I got quick release everything. Quick release doors, quick release hood. So it makes it more accessible, also lighter. But um, like I said, yeah. This is ready for when we start taking it. Also, before we take it, this is going to remain here last so that I could prime it and have it uniform with the front piece in white. But I'm stoked, man. Bring a lot of memories when I put it together and I first painted it. Actually, when I third painted it, because I painted it a couple times. But uh, yeah. See how things is looking so far. Everything taken apart. That's it. Like I said, it makes it more easy and more accessible to transport. The less chance of damaging any equipment or anything on the car. So, like this is fiberglass. This is very fragile. The door is not so much, but the uh, windows themselves they are. The front end definitely, because any impact is gonna crack right back. And um, even like that, I'm taking a chance. Then my oil pen might hit when we put it in the car at pause. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be interesting. The back is a little low. I'm going to have to pull taller tires. At least 14s or 15s, steelies or whatever, just so it don't drag. And one more thing that we have to take out, I got to take out the wing again. Because in the process of pushing, I don't want her that get damaged or anything so i rather take everything out once the wheel on the other location we'll pull all the parts right back but um yeah we're getting close to uh that transport time so with that being said let me uh open up the trunk so once again we could remove the wing eventually have to come off when we transport it so let's get it
All right, my peeps. So everything is finally disassembled. As I would say, a plain canvas. This is pretty much ready to get transferred at any time. Kind of sad. The le the last time to be there, but if it's gonna be any car in my channel, the last video we show in here in this garage is gonna be her. Because the first car that I chose here bringing and working on was the District 9 hatch bill, which was the one before this. This pretty much replaced that hatch. So this hatch has got a lot of sentimental value to me right now. But I'm not sad. I'm kind of happy that in the last two years I was able to build it from ground up as far as I got. And I thank that to all of you. I can't even take the credit. Because y'all motivate me to keep doing these videos. To keep motivating myself to motivate you guys. What can I say? This is a build that was not easy. It's about $85, $8,700 into the build. It's not really where I want to be at. I'm still away at another $3,500. Maybe another $4,000 to finish it. Uh, when you go K-Series, it gets expensive. I'm on that I like. All the details that I wanted to do, you know, to make it personal, but it was worth it, boys. Definitely. So once again, garage carport is basically off. It's a matter of just assemble the frame and it's done. So this section is done. This is the last time we see the carport. So uh, yeah, we'll get it.
All right, boys, I promise. It's fucking dark as shit, but we're trying to gotta get out of here. Um, we have the hatch already here. All the cars is going to come out. That way this fat fucking cunt bitch don't fucking keep going shit because she act tough, but, you know, she's just a cop caller. She fucking pussy, she know anyway. So, but, yeah, fuck all that. Car is here. Danny's here. Make sure you get my boy Danny mail off every time that, you know, we take in cars. If y'all remember, he brought the RX-7 from Syracuse two years ago. All the way over there from four years ago. From, like, four hours. So, we got my boy Puti over here. You know, we're doing our shit, man. Getting the track bill out of here. Out of this fucking junk. Fuck this place. Fuck that fat bitch. Fuck her fucking kid. Fuck everybody, for that matter. But yeah, this is why it's left over. Nothing. Chambles. They wanted to be faggots, so I fucking tore the shit out of everything. We don't need it. Well, yeah. We'll record a little bit more when we get to the crib. So let's get it. Huh? Huh. Finally got at the crib. So just a matter of uh, maneuvering. It's kind of like a hill, but um, we're gonna make it work. We got Danny over here. He's got like 20 years of experience. Don't be fooled like that. But yeah, she's looking right here. Just about to back it up, and um, hopefully it should be here. So let's get it.